Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. My name is Emily and I talk a lot about Salesforce. Today, I'm gonna to be showing you how to set up an expiring permission set within Salesforce. There are lots of reasons why you'd want to do this, but for today's scenario, let's have the scenario of we have a sales manager who is going on parental leave after they or their partner had a child. This is a fairly common scenario that you'll see in a lot of different tech companies. And so we want to have their temporary replacement have similar permissions to the sales manager so they can edit and view most of the opportunities that the sales manager would um, while they are stepping in for those duties. Now, at the end of the paternity leave or maternity leave has expired, then that permission set will also expire. So let's go ahead and jump into the setup and we will get started. So now I'm gonna go to permission sets. You can also set it up for permission set groups as well. So let's say you had a whole bunch of different permission sets that you had for the sales managers. You can do this for permission set groups as well, have those permission sets in a group and then have it expire. All right, I'm gonna go new and just have this be sales manager permissions. And then no license, just hit save. All right, I'm gonna go into object settings and I want to go, I'm gonna go on to the lead object and allow them to view all leads and then allow them to delete um, create, edit, delete permissions. And then I'm going to hit save here. And then I'm also gonna do the same for opportunities. Now, of course, these are pretty wide reaching permissions. So be sure that whomever is going to be the manager, just take maybe take some time with this person to kind of train them on the different upgrades that they'll be getting for this temporary uh, job position that they'll be taking and show them how to use these different permissions. Um, and oftentimes users get a little scared when they get extra permissions. So maybe show them how they can use this and not mess things up. Cause that's a, a big fear of oftentimes I've found. All right, and hit save. So now there are a bunch more permissions that we could go over, but now that we've gotten a couple of these down, we can always come back in and add more permissions later, but I'm going to manage assignments, add assignment, and then let's go down to all users here. And then for, let's go Fiola Johnson. All right, and then scroll down, hit next. And then here we can set an expiration date. So we can do one day, one week, 30 days, 60 days, or we can add a custom date. I'm gonna add a custom date, let's say four or five months out from now. It's when we want this to expire. And then we can also choose the time zone. So if they were in a different time zone, you'd be able to add that as well. Just so then there's nothing weird that happens. Let's go ahead and click assign. And there we go. They now have this permission set that will expire on April 29th of this year. I'm gonna hit done. And that's how you set up a expiring permission set. Again, this works with permissions that groups. So if you had a group of sales manager permissions, you could do that as well and have it expire on the same frequency that we did for just this single permission set. I hope that you guys found this helpful. If you did, be sure to give it a like, subscribe. You can check out the courses down below or on salesforceupscale.com. You can connect with me on LinkedIn and Twitter at Emily Call MBA. Thank you so much and I'll catch you guys in the next one.